so difficult to follow that. What a celebration. Well, we still have nine contestants who deserve their chance, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these countries in geographical order, starting in the U.S. and going east. Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, Spain, South Africa. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting in the U.S. and going east. Spain, Switzerland, South Africa, Saudi Arabia. That's the right uh, order. Let's see who did it in the fastest time. Jason Sterner. Yeah. Come on, Jason. Let's go. Let's play. Jason Sterner. All right, Jason. Where are you from? Uh, Statesboro, Georgia. Georgia, right. What, what do you do? Oh, I'm in college. How old are you? 19. 19 years old, University of? Uh, Georgia Southern University. All right, good enough. Ready to do it? Yeah. Huh? How did it feel sitting there watching all this happen? Uh, it was pretty exciting. It was pretty tense, but... Yeah. Could happen to you too, Jason. Yeah. Right, all right. All right, we're running out of time here, so let's get started. You know about the rules, Jason, the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire right now. Jason, for $100. According to a popular saying, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the what? Race. Kitchen. Sun. Way. Uh, that would be B, kitchen. Final answer? Kitchen, the right answer. There you go for $100. $200. Which of the following is the term for a piece of paper that acknowledges a debt? An IOU. MSG. UFO. ABC. Uh, that would be A, IOU. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, it's an IOU. $300, Jason. Which Warner Brothers cartoon character frequently went hunting for wabbits? Daffy Duck, Elba Fudd, Tasmanian Devil, Yosemite Sam. B, uh, B, Elmer Fudd. Elba Fudd, final answer? Elba Fudd, the right answer for 300 for $500. What biblical character was given the coat of many colors by his father? Moses, Jacob, Joseph, Isaac. Pull the audience? Sure, we can do that. Audience, Jason needs your help here. On your keypads using A, B, C, or D. Please vote now. Wait, audience, 85% says it was Joseph. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll, I'll go with the audience. Will you? Yeah, C, Fine. Joseph. Final answer? Final answer. Joseph, the right answer for 500. We got some in, though. You did real, real well. And uh, that sound means, of course, we're out of time for tonight. But Jason will be back here Tuesday night because on Friday night, 10 new contestants will be playing a special Academy Award edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And they are Roy Schmidt, Chris Hermione, Jeff Book, John Cutro, Mark Ryder, Jane Garcia, Brian W., Tom Duffy, Alan Olson, Michael Wolfstock. Last Thursday on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Let's see who got it right. The only one, Joe Freela. Going for $32,000, and here it comes. What baseball player has played in the most number of World Series games? Pick B. Yogi Berra is the right answer. Joe Trela playing guts ball here, but all by himself. No lifeline. You had 125000 Now you have $250,000. It's all up to you. One million dollars, and here it comes. Which insect shorted out an early supercomputer and inspired the term computer bug? I think it's 
somewhere doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to say a law. He just won a million dollars! <laughs> now, join us from New York for night 75 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Welcome to Tuesday Nighter Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And what an amazing moment. Joe Trela, just 25 years old, the youngest million dollar winner in television history. Another great moment for everybody around here and, of course, for Joe Trela. Now, starting tonight, you can get even more involved with what's happening right here in the studio. It's called Enhanced TV. While you're watching us, log on to ABC.com and then click on the Enhanced TV logo. You get to play along with our show's contestants and compete against thousands of folks online. You can vote in our instant uh, viewer polls. You can answer program trivia. Even find out more about our returning contestant, Jason Sternerman, a 19-year-old student from Georgia Southern University. Welcome back, Jason. And all of you out there, now log on to ABC.com. Thank you. All right, Jason. So, now when you came here, Jason, you interrupted your, your spring break. Yeah. And then you came here, and then, of course, we had... Um, our Academy Awards show, and so we had another interruption, so you went back to spring break. Yep. Yeah, now tell me about spring break, because it's been years. <laughs> How wild is it, Jason? It's pretty wild. Yeah, like what? Uh, just imagine. Like, come on, give me specifics. Uh, just uh, take a bunch of people that are under 23, year olds, 23 years old, just uh, doing anything they can to have fun. That's exactly what I want yeah. to know. <laughs> like what? Uh, well, there's a lot of partying, a lot of clubs. Yeah, yeah, that, what goes on at those parties? Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of drinks. <laughs> but not you, right, Jason? You had to keep yourself in control because you're in training for this show. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Jason, right. So you had a good time, huh? Yeah. All right, great. Well, let's see. Uh, you know, you've won just $500. We really just got started with you the other night. 11 questions away from winning $1 million. And here's how we play. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $1,000 or the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. You still have two of your lifelines, Jason, to help you 50-50, and you can phone a friend anywhere in the country. So, Jason, I guess that clears everything up. Ready to play? Yep. Studio audience ready to play? Let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay. He's won 500. He's going for 1,000, and this is what it looks like. What is the official currency of Mexico? Peso. Lira. Dollar. Dinar. Uh, that would be a peso. A peso, final answer? Yep. Hey, so it is for $1,000. Jason, 10 away from uh, $1 million, going for the $2,000 one. Here we go. Are there any girls at that party? Please. Whose life was the basis for the television sitcom Dave's World? David Spade. Dave Barry. Davy Jones. David Brennan. <clears throat> Ever see this sitcom? No, huh? This room from another show he was on, I just can't remember. Well, we got two lifelines if you like to use them. Phone a friend or we can narrow it down by two. I believe the answer is B. What? Let's do a 50-50. 
All right, computer, would you take away two of the wrong answers for Jason, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one? Well, David Brenner and Dave Barry. Well, let's go with B. You're guessing? Sorry. These are the two people I was narrowing it down between. So, uh... All right, fine. Would you like to make B your final answer? Yeah. Final answer, Dave Barry? He's got the right game! <laughs> Still has one lifeline left, nine away from a million, and here it is for $4,000. Which of the following instruments is not a type of flute, Jason? Ocarina, piccolo, fife, sitter. The answer is D, Sitter. Final answer? Final answer. You got it for four thousand dollars. <laughs> Going for eight thousand when we come back. Jason Sterneman, uh, he is 19 years old, one of the youngest contestants we've ever had. He's a freshman at uh, Georgia Southern University. He's accompanied by your friend uh, Dusty. Hi, Dusty. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Dusty looks good. He's got a tan. You're white as a ghost. <laughs> Dusty stayed on the beach, got some sun, took vitamins. I had the nightlife. And what? The nightlife was... The nightlife was too much for you, yeah. So, uh, Dusty, did you have a good time at spring break? Absolutely. Yeah, what did you do? I went to the beach. <laughs> You guys aren't telling me anything. <laughs> and it's driving me nuts. All right, fine. Well, Jason, uh, you know, you're doing all right here. You've won $4,000. you are going for $8,000, eight away from a million. Ready to do it? Yep. Let's play. Here we go. <laughs> here it is now for $8,000. What architect is credited with developing the concept of the geodesic dome? R. Buckminster Fuller, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, Pierre L'Enfant, Philip Johnson. Geodesic Dome. The answer is A, R, but Mr. Fuller, final answer. Final answer, he says. Fuller, Fuller's the right answer for $8,000. <laughs> Jason still has one lifeline. He can phone a friend, but here it is for $16,000. Which of these books was not authored by mystery writer Sue Grafton? D for deadbeat, I is for innocent, N is for malice, S is for stiletto. When I saw the question, she always uses the letter. And I was hoping that get one that didn't have a letter in it, but that would be that'd be pretty simple, wouldn't it? Yeah. Go for sixty thousand dollars now, Jason. I'm gonna have to call a friend. What do you want to call? Uh, I'm going to call. I'm gonna call uh, my old uh, English teacher, Miss Supple. Not a bad choice. All right, AT and T. Uh, let's get uh, Jason's old English teacher on the line. Hello, Miss Supple. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from ABC's hey, One Street. Hey, Regis. Hi. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? One of your old students with me right now. Okay. Jason Sturdivant. All right. He's won eight thousand dollars. He's going for sixteen. He's kind of hung up on a question. I'll try to help. Yeah, he's just back from uh, you know from party time down there, well, spring break. I hope that he's got a clear head. That's all I can say. <laughs> I don't think so, Miss Supple. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not a chance. Okay. All right, he's coming on. He's going to read you the question, the four answers. One of them's the right answer. Great. Jason, it's all yours. Thirty seconds. Here we go. Which of these books was not authored by mystery writer Stu Grafton? D, 
D is for deadbeat, I is for innocent, M is for malice, or S is for stiletto. D is for deadbeat, I is for what? Innocent. Innocent. What's the other one? S is for stiletto. And M is for malice. M is for malice. Which one of those is not authored by Sue Graffin? Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me think. D is for deadbeat, I is for innocence, S is stiletto, and Three seconds. Three seconds. I'd say stiletto. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Yeah. What'd she say? She said stiletto. I'll go with what she said. I'm... She's your English teacher. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go with the S's for stiletto. Go on with your teacher. Go on with her. Making it your final answer. Yes. The supple is right! Now, why were you just a little bit ashamed? You paused, you hesitated, you doubted Miss Supple. All right, Jason, now this is the big one. You make it up to 32,000, you get to leave with that, you know, regardless of what happens. But if you miss here, you lose 15 grand, okay? Six away from a million, no lifelines left. Here it is for 32,000. According to the Girl Scouts, what is their best-selling cookie? Samoans. Three foils. Thin mints. Tagalongs. You mean the Girl Scouts down there at the beach? Uh... <laughs> I just asking. Best-selling cookie. Hmm. There's two on here that... That you remember? Yeah. Which ones? The Samoas and the Thin Mints. We always tended to buy the Thin Mints. Thin Mint Man, huh? Yeah, pretty good. A lot of people buy the Samoas, too. Yeah. Be nice to get that 32,000, Jason. Yeah. Can't call Mr. Supple anymore. Yeah, I know. Way to this thing that's so. Jason, are you thinking to talk to yourself? <laughs> it's too much money, and I don't know it. No problem. No, we understand. Want to leave with 16? Yeah, that'll do a lot for me. All right, you know, you had Samoas, you had Thin Mints. Let's take a guess here, but that's your final decision. You want to leave with 16000 What would you have said if you had to make that final decision? Thin Mints. Thin Mints would have been right for 32000 You won 16000 Jason. Come on. Be happy with that, okay? I'll see you. Good kid. Got a little mad there. I know he's kicking himself backstage right now, but then $16,000 is a lot of money, and he had no way of knowing whether or not he was right. But he'll never forget, yeah, Thin Mints, that's the answer. But right now, we have 10 new contestants ready to go. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. And they are... Karen Clute, Trafford, Pennsylvania. Bob Cameron, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Joe Stranowski, Brooklyn, Ohio. John Rickenbach, Castle Woodley, California. Scott Left, Brantford, New Jersey. Ann McGuire, Lincoln, Nebraska. Gene Baker, Elma, New York. Patrick Duhon, Seattle, Washington. Bill Goster, Sioux City, Iowa. 
Gina Kennedy San Luis Obispo, California. All right, welcome everybody. Now here's how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who puts those answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Audience, we need complete silence here. Thank you. Here's that question. Put these TV series in the order of their network debut, starting with the most recent. The West Wing, Murphy Brown, Benson, Hart Sophia. Okay, time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent. And it was The West Wing. And then Heart Sophia. Murphy Brown. Finally, Benson. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. Yeah. The winner, Scott Weston. Yes, Scott, congratulations. So it's Scott left from Cranford, New Jersey. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a thrill, isn't it, to it's see that name light amazing. up there? Amazing. All right, so you're 27 years old. You graduated from uh, Rutgers, mm -hmm. and you're a civil engineer. What do you do? Design water treatment plants. Really? Mm. Really. Good for you. Thrill a minute. And your wife... <laughs> Kari is behind you there. How did you meet, uh, Kari? We played beer pong at Rutgers. <laughs> did you say ping pong? Beer pong. Beer pong. Beer pong. <laughs> Gee, how romantic. <laughs> and how did you propose, you Mr. Romance? I, I did a little better with the proposal. What'd you do? I was at Disney World and Pleasure Island, and at midnight they shoot off the fireworks. Yeah. And uh, I got down on one knee when they shot the fireworks and proposed. Probably had a couple of beers before that, too, right? <laughs> All right, Scott. Scott, here it is. It's your turn. You know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. 50-50, ask the audience, phone a friend. It's all here, so if you're ready, Scott Left, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> For $100, here it comes. Which of these is commonly found in a first aid kit? Antiseptic? Anvil? Ants? Anti-lock brakes. That would be A, antiseptic. Yes, of course, antiseptic. $200. What kitchen utensil is traditionally used to spoon soup into bowls? Grater, sieve, funnel, ladle. That would be D, ladle. Of course, you, you use the ladle. $300, here it is. What is the common term for building or room used specifically for gambling? Gazebo, casino, atrium, university. The answer is B, casino. Yes, it's the casino. $500. Which of the following animals is not warm-blooded? Turtle, horse, bird, camel. And it's the right answer for five hundred dollars. One thousand dollars. Here it comes. The movie character Crocodile Dundee is a native of what country? Australia, Kenya, Scotland, Japan. The answer is A. Australia. Sure, he's from Australia. Got a thousand dollars, Scott. thousand dollars in all your lifelines we push on now to the two thousand dollar question which of these women is nicknamed iron lady janet reno benazar Bhutto, margaret thatcher hillary clinton Audience? Sure. Audience, we need a little help here. Scott, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. C. 
76% feel it's Margaret Thatcher. It's a good thing I asked. It was not what I was thinking. Who did you think it was? Well, I'm going to go with C. You're going to go with C? Want to make it your final answer? I'll make it my final answer. Audience was right. You won $2,000. Who are you thinking, Scott? For some reason, Janet Reno was popping out of me. Nine away from a million, two lifelines left. Here it is for $4,000. Which of these bands is named after a sleep stage cycle? Blink-182, R.E.M., Simply Red, White Zombie. Answer is B, R.E.M. R.E.M., final answer. Final answer. You're right for four thousand dollars. Here it is for eight thousand dollars now. Who was known as the man of a thousand voices? Don Adams, Jack Benny, Mel Blank, Rich Little. You had to throw that last one in there. Go with my gut. Mel Blanc. C. Final? Final. Mel Blanc is the right answer. There you go for $8,000. He's seven away from a million going for $16,000 when we come back. Jersey. Yeah, by day he's a civil engineer, designs water treatment plants, but at night, a lot going on in his life. It says here that you, you do tongue tricks. Well, we'll skip that. But I mean, <laughs> you also have a lucky goatee. Yeah, I've had it since I got the call back for the show. Ah, so you kept it, and now you uh, stroke it every now and then? <laughs> Wish you good luck? I don't want to shave it, because I figure I might ruin my luck. <laughs> and you've got a couple of dogs with Curry, huh? A couple of boxers, yeah. Do you treat them like they're your children? A little bit. There, there's much trouble as children. Do you dress them up for Halloween? We dress them up for Halloween. You're kidding me, you do? Yeah, we were, uh, they, we dressed them up as deer and we were hunters. <laughs> How hard it is to get dogs in the costume? That's yeah. a good costume. But hunters usually hunt deer. This, well, we were, you know, Poor dogs must we were have been scared hunters. to death. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott, listen, you're doing okay here. You want 8,000 going for 16, seven away from a million, two lifelines left. Let's do it for $16,000. Here we go. Which of the following is not an ingredient in a traditional Waldorf salad? Apples, celery, walnuts, tomatoes. The answer is D, tomatoes. D, tomatoes. Final answer? Final answer. There are no tomatoes in a Waldorf salad. <laughs> Here's an important one for $32,000. Here it comes. What is the space between nerve cells called? Axon, electron, synapse, anglion. Didn't cover this in engineering, huh? Not uh, body stuff. Uh, my, my gut is synapse, but throw up a couple others that are, uh, they ring a bell. It's an important uh, number here. I think I'm going to have to yeah. use the lifeline. All right, well, you got two left. Make that phone call or narrow it down by two. The guy would call for this. His wife went into labor. He's not available. Can we call him in the labor room? Guess not. Um... Call my friend Bill. The bill is? Oh, my hope. 
Let's find out. AT&T, call them at home. Let's see if we can get Bill on the line. Hello? Hello, Bill. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from ABC's and wants to be a millionaire. Hi, Regis. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm here with Scott, needs a little help. So well, hopefully I can help him out. Yeah, let's hope so. Going for $32,000, so it's an important question. In a moment, he's going to come on and read the question and four answers. One of them's the right answer, okay? Okay. All right, Scott, you got 30 seconds starting right now. It's a question about nerve cells. What is the space between nerve cells called? Axon, synapse, ganglion. Space between nerve cells. Axon, synapse, synapse, or ganglion. I just one. I believe it's a synapse. Are you sure? How do you know? I thought it was a synapse, too. Uh, I recall, uh, that electrical charges had to jump across the synapse when they're sending messages in the brain. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Well, you saved a little time by not including electron. So he said synapse, which was exactly what you were thinking, huh? I'm gonna go with, uh, synapse. Final? Final. Bill was right! You won $32,000! Hey, Scott, you made it. You can't leave here with less than that, but we're five away from a million. Still one lifeline left. Here it comes for 64000 On what 1980s sitcom did First Lady Nancy Reagan make a guest appearance to talk about drug abuse? The facts of life. Different strokes. Who's the boss? Night Court. Should we uh, stroke the beard for good luck? There you go. Who's the boss? It'd be ironic if it was different strokes. You can always uh, knock it down by two. That helps you. that later. All right, I'll use it. You'll what? I'll use the 50-50. Will you? All right, computer, take away two of the wrong answers for Scott leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. Facts of life, different strokes. Different strokes. Want to make that your final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer. He's out of lifelines, but he's going for $125,000 when we come back. Got left, $64,000, right there.
Really had to work for that one, didn't you? Oh, painful. All right, so now you're up to $125,000. We're getting into serious money. And, uh, Carrie, what would you uh, like to do with this money should Scott win it? We're going to go on vacation swimming with the dolphins. Swim with the dolphins. And what's your first choice? <laughs> and go to Lang City, put it all on black. <laughs> You better get to those dolphins as soon as you can, Carrie. <laughs> this is a dangerous man. You're four away from a million. No lifelines left, Scott. Let's take a look at it now for $125,000. Let's play. <laughs> Who was executed for refusing to recognize the religious supremacy of Henry VIII? Sir Thomas More. Anne Boleyn. Cardinal Wolsey. Thomas a. Beckett. You're an engineer. I'm an engineer, and I, uh... There's so many damn English questions. Excuse me? I'm, uh... I'm gonna take the money, Reach. I am? Sure, why not? 64,000? All right. Is that your final decision? He's leaving with $64,000. The correct answer, Sir Thomas More. All right. Here it is, big boy. Nice Thank having you, Scott. Right. Well, you know, it's tough when a question comes up in a category you really don't know much about. Anyway, good luck to Scott and Kari. But now we still have nine more contestants ready to go. So here's the next fastest finger question. Put these films in order of their first theatrical release, starting with the earliest. Rain Man, The Phantom Menace, Aladdin, Independence Day. All right, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest film, Rain Man, and then Aladdin, and then came Independence Day, and finally, The Phantom Menace. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. Patrick Duhon. Patrick Duhon, congratulations. Let's go, baby. Patrick Duhon, Seattle, Washington. Made it to the hot seat. Nice to have you here. Thanks, Reach. What do you do for a living? I work for an organization called City Year. It's a national service organization. 17 to 24 year olds who uh, come from all different backgrounds to do your community service in cities around the country. Uh, like what? Like uh, work in schools, after school programs, violence prevention, just a mm -hmm. social justice programs, just really trying to make a difference. And you're accompanied by your brother Mark. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you here, Mark. How are you doing, Rage? Uh, what do you do, Mark? I uh, actually follow my brother's footsteps a little bit, and I uh, direct a scholarship program for inner city kids. Must be very satisfying. Very much so. That's terrific. Well, all right, two good guys here. Patrick, you ready to play? I am. You know about the rules, you know about the lifelines, you got it all straight, 50-50, ask the audience, phone a friend, it's all here. So if you're ready, Duhan, let's go, let's play who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> we start with the $100 question, as always. According to a popular phrase, what family do others try keeping up with? The Browns, Smiths, Joneses, Jeffersons. Regis, that would be C, the Joneses. Keeping up with the Joneses, the right answer. Two hundred dollars. If you order something COD, how have you arranged to pay in cash for it? On delivery? Only directly? On distribution? Over dinner? Well, that uh, would be uh, on delivery. Cash on delivery, the right answer. $300. Sodium chloride is commonly known as what? Pepper? Chlorine? Cumin? Table salt. That would be table salt. Sodium chloride is table salt. You're right, for $300. Here it is for 500 Patrick. What late night talk show host presents a nightly top 10 list? David Letterman. Jay Leno. Conan O'Brien, John Stewart. Uh, a, David Letterman. 
Yes, of course, it's David Letterman. Top 10 list. Here it is for $1,000. What American political party is known as the Grand Old Party? Democratic? Republican? Reform? Green? That would be a Republican. Confident? Kind of. <laughs> yes, the Republican Party for $1,000. He's won a thousand. All of his lifelines are with him. Going for two thousand when we return. <laughs> Patrick Duhon, Seattle, Washington, in the hot seat right now. Just told me it's a little different here than playing at home, isn't it? Yeah, just, just a little bit. The lights, the music, the pressure. So you're married. Wife Karen is at home yep. watching the uh, two little ones. Uh, who, do you, who do you have back there? I have uh, Timothy, who's uh, six. He's in first grade. And uh, Mary, who's four. Do they both play the game? Uh, they do. They help, me, they help me out a lot. Oh, good. Wish they were here right now, yeah. huh? All right, so Patrick, you're doing well. You've uh, won 1,000. You're going for 2,000, 10 away from a million. And all your lifelines still ready to help you. Let's play. <laughs> For $2,000, the technique CPR stands for cardiopulmonary what? Rescue, resuscitation, reaction, response. That would be B, resuscitation. Resuscitation. Final answer? That's my final answer. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, the right answer. We're going for $4,000 right now. Still hasn't used a lifeline. In which city would you find the famed 1960s neighborhood known as Haight-Ashbury? San Francisco, Baton Rouge, Phoenix, Los Angeles. That would be A, San Francisco. San Francisco. Final answer? That is my final answer. A Dash Berry is in San Francisco. $4,000. Eight away for a million now and going for $8,000. And here it is. In the Coleridge poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, what bird was hung around the mariner's neck? Tern, pelican, albatross, seagull. The answer is C, albatross. Final answer. It is my final answer. That's what they hung around the mariner's neck. The albatross. You've got a way of really focusing in and studying these uh, these possibilities before you give the answer. I, uh, just, just I always sure. think now he's stuck, but you're not. Three lifelines still ready. Seven away from a million, $16,000 question, and here it is. What are the leaves of ferns most commonly called? Fans, fronds, spores, funicles. to the, uh, the audience on this, Regis. Audience? All right, audience. Patrick needs some help here. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, there you go. 54% feel it's fronds. And uh, fans and the spores came in second, tied at 18. What do you think? Um, I'm going to go with B. You're going to go with the audience? Yeah. B. Final answer? Final answer. You had $8,000.
Now you got 16. Well, that sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Patrick, you'll be back here on Thursday night, and joining him will be 10 new contestants who have flown in from all over the country. And they are Eric, Kelly, Gaines, Robbie Alder, Tom Owell, Pierre Orday, Bob Scarpone, Ian Reifowitz, 